Ever since I studied art history at university, I quite immediately fell completely for art magazines. Art magazines look, feel and read differently. It's with good reason that you can always find contemporary art magazines on fancy coffee tables. However, art and magazines or periodicals always had a very strong relationship. They are very much connected to one another. In fact, magazines or printed publications are an alternate space to exhibit and experience art. Not to speak of the limited edition prints in terms of periodicals and publications produced by artists in which the printed publication was the actual artwork itself. When I studied at university, it was very difficult to find a good overview of the best art publications out there. Because, speaking frankly, there is a lot of fluff out there as well, especially on the World Wide Web. For this video, we have focused on the printed art publications, discarding all the online magazines such as our own platform, and we have focused on the very best, highest rated, high-end contemporary art magazines in the world. They have their finger literally at the pulse of the art world. They are edited, directed and written by renowned curators, art directors or artists. And to conclude the selection criteria, all the magazines in question are published and written in English. So, without further ado, let's dive into the 10 very best contemporary art magazines today. And please note, the list is not a ranking. We have listed them simply alphabetically. Enjoy! We start our list with Aesthetica magazine. Aesthetica has approximately around half a million readers across the globe, so it is arguably one of the most read magazines. The mag was founded in 2002 and is published bi-monthly, focusing on art design, photography, architecture, music and film. Besides the excellent print issues, Aesthetica is also known for its varied and free digital issues. The Art & Culture Mac showcases in-depth features of the most important actors in their field. They even produce their own awards, such as the Aesthetica Short Film Festival, the Aesthetica Art Prize, the Future Now Symposium and the Creative Writing Award. Up next we have Apollo magazine, which was founded in 1925, making it the longest running art magazine from our list. Apollo is one of the most renowned art magazines and it also covers antiquities. However, the primary focus is on contemporary art, including in-depth features on the latest developments in the art world. Think of exclusive interviews with collectors, artists or art experts. In doing so, Apollo offers expert information on the art market, advises you on collecting or presents you hot of the press reviews and previews of art exhibitions across the globe. Founded in 1962, our next art magazine, Art Forum, is probably the most renowned art magazine there is today. The magazine distinguishes itself not only by its long-standing history, authority on contemporary art, and their extensive digital offer of articles, but also by its unique square format. Art Forum features in-depth articles, essays, exhibition reviews, book reviews and interviews on contemporary art, offering you a great view of the current landscape of contemporary art. Uh, next, we travel to Latin America for the art magazine Art Nexus. Published since 1976, Art Nexus is an authority on the contemporary art scene in Latin America. The leading magazine is an indisputable reference to the Latin American art market, featuring essays by art scholars, critics and museum curators. Our Nexus is bilingual and is published in both Spanish and English. Our fifth print mag is another renowned industry-leading contemporary art magazine, Art Review. Art Review was founded in 1949 and is dedicated to expanding the audience and reach of contemporary art, examining how contemporary art interacts with culture in general. Art Review also launched Art Review Asia in 2013. The sibling publication examines the Asian art scene. Furthermore, Art Review is also very renowned for its online magazine, with numerous art features, cultural news, criticism, opinions, columns, videos, podcasts, articles and highlights from previous magazines. Up next we have my favorite magazine at this very moment, which is Kura magazine. Kura is in fact more than just a magazine. It is a curatorial and editorial platform founded in 2009. These curatorial activities take shape in the form of an exhibition program, a publishing house and a high-end magazine on contemporary art. Curatorial research and critical activity is the crucial objective of Cura. 
Doing so, they focus on investigating new contemporary languages and the development or implementation of innovative exhibition formats. As a result, something which was normally static, the traditional art magazine, suddenly becomes something dynamic, an almost flexible exhibition space in which their curatorial research can take form and continue to evolve over time. Founded in 1967, Flash Art was originally published in both Italian and in English. The art design achieved an international reputation after extensively covering innovative art movements such as Arte Povera in the 1960s and 1970s, and in particular after publishing Andy Warhol's final interview in 1987. Flash Art is besides being a printed magazine also a major online art platform. Up next we encounter our very first artist-run art magazine from our list, High Fructose magazine. In 2005, the artists Ataboy and Annie Owens founded High Fructose magazine with the new contemporary art magazine as their tagline. The magazine has an entirely different feel, look and organization in comparison to the aforementioned magazines. However, due to the artist run and kind of bottom-up approach, showcasing submissions from many unknown emerging artists, they have an entirely different value. Although the design, text and overall quality in terms of the selection of artists and topics they cover can be experienced as less high culture than the aforementioned established magazines from this list. High Fructose has a very strong, a certain appeal to the magazine. And as a result, the magazine has become tremendously popular and has an enormous fan base on social media. A similar story of success can be found with our next magazine, which is Juxtapos. Juxtapos Art and Culture magazine was founded in 1994 by a group of artists and collectors. Their main aim was to connect modern genres like street art, illustration art or psychedelic art. Their vision became a success as they found a large support base in the public opinion for more underground, figurative and arguably more accessible art compared to minimal art, pop art or conceptual art. In doing so, the quarterly magazine surpassed in 2009 major and highly established magazines regarding the circulation of the number of issues they print and distribute. In fact, they distribute more magazines than Art News or the aforementioned renowned Art Forum. Our 10th art magazine is one that I absolutely adore also for their beautiful design, Extra Magazine. The Extra Contemporary Art Quarterly is an independent journal or magazine. Founded in 1997 in Los Angeles by the artists Stephen Behrens and Ellen Birrell, the Art Quarterly publishes features, reviews, columns, interviews and artist projects as a true artist-run magazine. The mission of Extra is to sustain a vibrant critical discourse on contemporary art, fostering inclusive networks and cultivating a deep understanding of contemporary art. This completes the list of arguably the 10 very best contemporary art magazines that are out there today. And if you want to know which bonus magazine we've also included, go to our website contemporaryartissue.com or use the link in the description and in the pinned comment to discover the bonus magazine that we've shared in this article. I have also included links in the description below where you can purchase or find more information about the magazines in question. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Feel free to watch our video on the top 10 curators in the art world next. Support us on Patreon and please consider subscribing to stay posted for more contemporary arts. Bye.